Baby, we got a shout out. It's Brown Sweet number one. And we know this storm chaser over here. So if you ain't went over and hit that subscribe button, do so now. You will get to see all the decoration, all the travel and everything. This young lady has been working hard to put out new content. And we love when someone has decoration going on. We have fall. We have Thanksgiving. We have Christmas. And we have New Year's coming up. So go over there. Check out what she's got going on. And it's budget friendly and it's fun to watch. I'll see you there. Baby, let this disclaimer run. Let this disclaimer run. Section 107 Fair Use allows us to talk about it. And that's what we are here to do. Don't go out of your way to dislike anybody that we talk about in this video. It is for reaction and entertainment purposes only. And baby, it is my opinion and my opinion only. Oops. Baby, we're going to jump into it. Okay, so Peach, she's out here giving Kiki Wyatt advice because, you know, she's out here watching her show and she just finds this and that very funny. So we'll kick it off by starting with that. Then we'll go into the more nitty gritty, okay? So really quick, she's been out here reacting on Kiki Wyatt's show. Now I'm going to point a few things out. Number one, Peach says people react on her to get clout. So if that is the case, if you're over there reacting on Kiki Wyatt and your views are down, what are you trying to get? Then you taking Kiki life and you trying to spin it into your life. But baby, you got your life playing out on camera just like Kiki. And baby, we don't think you should be able to give her no advice because that is the pot calling the kettle black. That is just like watching you times 10. It just is what it is, all right? Now, she is watching Kiki and she makes a video saying, oh, well, guess what? She got her husband out here feeding her kids hot dogs for breakfast. Ooh, if Wood ever did that with the money we got, he better go take our kids out and get them something off a menu, fast food, restaurant, da 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 da, smackly smackly smack. So, no. Do I agree with kids having hot dogs for breakfast? Absolutely not. But in this case, we see what you feed your kids for breakfast, Peach. We see that you stop at McDonald's. You see you stopping at Dunkin' Donuts, Krispy Kremes, this, that, and the third. So, you mean to tell me a hot dog versus a a uh, sugary donut or a hot dog versus some greasy old nasty old hash browns or some french fries or something that's all processed it's like either or because it's the same thing you also feed your children this before they go to school you also show us that your child that you claim has special needs and is very 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 high energy already that you think it's okay for him to have donuts sugar and candy before school so right there honey you should have just tapped out and left it go but then she continues to go on, right? She continues to go on and she comes out and she says, hey, you know, um, I think parenting a teenage child is a lot harder than parenting children. And I'm like, okay, uh, girl, I can't feel you on this one. Now, let me just say this. I might be, you know, not the right person or maybe my way of parenting or the, my, my way of thinking is not how everyone else does it. But I'm going to say that I think the reverse. I think that when they get to be teenagers, it becomes a little bit easier. It's a little different to me. This is me now. Let me tell you that. When my child was younger, okay, I have a son that's going to be 17 in December. When he was younger from the ages of, you know, newborn until 12, 13, 14, 15, whatever, I was teaching him how to become a man, okay? I was allowing him to see life. I was allowing him to be guided by me. I did a lot of parenting that was really, really, you know, hardcore because it's different nowadays from being younger when I was younger till now. It is. So like she does say, they can get lost in friends. They can get lost in um, the streets, whatever the case may be. But at this point, once a child hits a certain age, right, and they're able to drive and they're able to be out with their friends, I'm a big firm believer that now I have more conversations with my son. I sit down and we have talks and I sit back and I watch how he does things. I'm not going to suffocate him. I'm not going to sit here and shelter him. I want him to have friends. I want him to be out here. I want him to endure life because guess what? At the age that these children are now, at some point you have to sit back Watch what decisions that they're going to make when they're out with their friends. Watch what decisions they're going to make when they're out in public. And watch what your parenting done from birth till now. So that's how I parent. I sit back and I let my son make decisions. If it's not a good one, then I try and steer him. But 
I sit back and watch all the hard work that I did from when he was younger till now. And I see that he is able to be an adult and to be a grown man. I see that he's able to hold a job, keep his grades up and play sports. This is what we prepare them for. I don't want to sit here and hear Pete try and give me no parenting advice when you treat each child differently. You cheat your children differently by what you can get off of them. And see, you stay up under Gregory McKay because you have no friends. And I'm just going to say it just like I see it. She stays up under him, not because she's scared he's going to make friends and he's going to run off and he's going to do this. You stay up under him because you want to try and shield him from the foolery that you do. You stay up under him because you have nothing else to do. And you stay up under him because he's your new moneymaker. You're able to try and use his face and you're able to try and use his kind content to make money because it's coming into your bank account. I'm here to call a spade a spade and that's what it is. We don't see you do this. I have not seen her do a video with wonderful, amazing life, uh, McIntyre, any of them. They have, I've not ever seen her do a one-on-one. -on -one, this is what I took my children to do. I also never see these young boys out doing things that typically young boys do with father. I've never seen anybody at a sporting events. I've never seen anybody going to get haircuts with their daddy. I've never seen any of this. And it's because Peach, you're lonely. You have no friends and you have no one else. That's your parenting skills. You also try to shield them from your foolishness because you know it's going to come back on them. Then she uh, has an excuse. Oh, well, I think that Kiki Wyatt's show is good. It should stay on because guess what? They need to see how black women live. Oh, I mean, she's biracial, but she acts black. First off, I don't believe you can act a color. Let me tell you something. I'm a biracial woman and I act like me. I act like Storm. I act like myself. That's what you act like. That's number one. Number two, maybe it's not the fact that people don't want to see how um, black women live their life out here. Maybe it's the fact that you and people like Kiki Wyatt, okay, I'm going to say people, it's not colors. You get on here and you depict that we are ghetto, that we are trifling, that we always choose a no good men, that we always having all these babies and we can barely take care of them and that we always struggling. Maybe that's what women don't want to see. Maybe women want to see a woman that's like, look, I got all these kids. This is what I do. This is how I hold my household down. And this is how I get through it. Now, let me show y'all a routine. Maybe they want to see something uplifting. Because, baby, all this complaining about men and this and that. But then the same men that y'all complaining about y'all laying down to keep producing these babies, it makes absolutely no sense. And maybe that's what... uh you know, the problem is, but let's not get too deep. All right. I'm going to see y'all in the comments.